and welcome to His Kids Christian Preschool. My name is Nicole Lewis, and I am the director here at His Kids. We are a ministry of St. James Lutheran Church in Limerick, Pennsylvania. In 2003, the wonderful people here at St. James created a welcoming preschool where families could bring their children and know that they are loved, safe, and cared for. We have continued to provide this wonderful service to the community for the past 18 years. We believe that children learn the best through play. This is the basis of our curriculum here at His Kids. We incorporate learning, the ABCs, one, two, threes, with games and fun activities. You will see this with our staff as you meet them later. In addition to our curriculum, we have worship every other week with Mrs. Hillsmeyer and Miss Bobby from St. James. Janet Hillsmeyer is the Director of Family Ministry here at St. James, and Bobby Huffman is the Dis Director of Discipling. They share stories from the Bible with our students in a way that they can understand. We act out the stories, we sing songs, and have a lot of fun learning about Jesus. But most importantly, they learn that Jesus is their very best friend. We also have character education lessons to tie into our worship stories. Music and physical activities are a regular part of the day for our children here at His Kids. Hi everybody, welcome to preschool. I'm Mrs. Williams and this is Mrs. Lark. This is our fifth year teaching preschool together. When kids come into our room, it's important for them to learn how to socialize and learn how to be in school. We do lots of play-based learning, incorporating literacy and math readiness activities throughout the day with lots of hands-on movement activities. We begin the day with circle time right here. We have a story, we sing songs and do movement, we do the weather, we pick our line leader and we say a prayer. Then we move into alphabet work, name work and centers. The centers are typically based on our theme. Currently it's winter wonderland and polar animals. So we might have a group break up with Mrs. Lark. She would be working on alphabet activities. I'd be at another table working on name and readiness, reading readiness skills. Our centers might be fine motor practice, sorting, matching, visual discrimination, so children might need to choose what is different and then put a bead on the picture that doesn't match, and coloring. The second half of our day, after we have potty and outdoor time, is art projects, and sometimes we do crafts where the children have to put something together with glue or cut things. Sometimes it's process art where they might just make a big mess and then we turn it into an art piece when they're all finished. We have sensory bins using Play-Doh and rice and even shaving cream sometimes. For free play, the theme is what drives the play. Right now we're making snowmen. We have penguins in shaving cream and we're building an ice fishing center. We do math readiness centers with 10 frames. We clip and count. And today we even counted snowballs. So after all that is done, we come back together for a story and a game or a song, and then we get ready to go home. So while they're here, they learn lots of how to be in school and get along with their friends. Welcome to Preschool Plus. I'm Mrs. Brown, and I've been teaching at His Kids for five years. Hi, and I'm Mrs. S, and I've been here for seven years. Our Preschool Plus class is for children who are older threes and younger fours. Children must turn four by December 31st of the school year they'll attend. Because our friends in Preschool Plus have a few more months of development over and above our children in the threes classes, we're able to dive right into academic and social enrichment right away. We're so excited to offer three days for Preschool Plus next year. So let's get started on our tour. Welcome to Circle, everyone. Now you're here. Let's have some fun. We begin our day by welcoming our friends and by checking in. The children are working on recognizing the letters and their names. We also have classroom helpers, like a calendar helper, a weather watcher, a flag holder, and a line leader. We talk about our centers and the teacher table craft or activity for the day. We always end circle time with a prayer so that before we play, our minds are set on being thankful to God for all he has given us and asking him to help us remember to use gentle hands, kind words, and caring hearts. 
after circle time, the children break into pairs or small groups for centers and a table craft or activity. Since we're learning about snow today, our craft is salt painting snowflakes. There are a wide variety of craft activities that build fine motor skills and attention to directions. We also incorporate thematic science activities each week. Today, we learned about the life cycle of a snowflake and formed snowflakes with sparkling Play-Doh and a variety of shapes. Another area is our Cozy Corner Book Center where the children can relax on beanbag chairs and choose a book to explore. Speaking of books, literacy is a big part of our day. We love books here. We read a variety of fiction and nonfiction books focusing on sequencing, plot, characters, setting, making predictions, or recalling the information we learned. We do this through felt boards, magnet boards, manipulatives, word and picture walls, songs, and whole group discussions. We also learn about the parts of a book and what the author and illustrator do. In addition, we use social and emotional learning and character education books. Imaginative and creative play is woven in throughout our day. Today, this area is an igloo. The activities vary with our themes and can be anything from the stable and manger for Christmas to a fairy tale castle. Since children learn best through play, our math and letter activities are all hands-on or game-based. Here you see a roll and build snowman game where the children learn one-to-one -one number correspondence. We also play a Feed the Penguin game with alphabet letters on fish to review letter identification and sounds. We have a variety of developmentally appropriate fine motor, pre-writing, and writing activities. We might use dry erase cards for pre-writing, or we may use pencils, crayons, and markers, but we also use Play-Doh, a sand tray, shaving cream, and stickers or stamps to form letters. We have many opportunities to develop scissor skills as well, such as ripping, snipping, cutting, and tearing. At our rug center, we have a variety of hands-on toys such as blocks, vehicles, doll houses, and animals. This is another area where children can use their imaginations to build and create, and they also develop social skills such as turn-taking and sharing. The children love to use their individual sensory bins to go along with our winter theme this week, the sensory bins are filled with safe artificial snow and a variety of fine motor tools. There are also some letter magnets hiding in the snow so the children can form their names. Our day also includes bathroom and hand washing breaks, snack time and playground time. We hope you enjoyed your tour of the Preschool Plus classroom. See you soon. soon. Welcome to preschool. My name is Carissa Wowak. And I'm Mrs. S. And we teach the three day a week preschool class. Students in this class are age four between before August 31st of the school, the start of the school year. Uh, we meet three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays from 8.55 to 12.15. Our school day is structured into three different times or three different parts of the day. We usually start when we come in with our first circle time. Our first circle time includes a brief calendar time. We say a prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance. Usually we also include a story or a short thematic lesson. Uh, today we actually read the Snow Globe family, keeping with our winter and ice theme. Uh, we end this time usually with some sort of music and movement, which the kids absolutely love. The next part of our day includes our foundations and literary, literacy centers. During this, what we call work time, we focus on letter recognition, letter sounds, and letter formation. Students work with the teachers and independently as they rotate through literacy centers. These centers also include skills such as rhyming, word work, and pre-reading and pre-writing skills. Today, we worked on the proper letter formation and identifying letter O. The students also built snowmen today in a literacy center by identifying the, building, the beginning sounds of certain words. During our center, students will select the centers in which they choose to play. They can move and rotate through the centers at their own pace. Centers may include dramatic pretend play, building blocks, table play, 
carpets play, STEM arts and crafts. Today we are doing ice skating, which we played in, in the hot chocolate stand to warm up at the table. Play center was continued with the snowman stew. We built a snow fort and snowmen in the building center. Worked on a group snowflake project to work on our time and motor skills. During our center's time, when the students have free choice, there is also a teacher-led center. Uh, the activity during this time is usually a literature-based craft or drawing or a process art activity. For example, we love Jan Brett's stories and her characters, so we made our own hedgies using forks to paint. Thank you for visiting preschool today. We look forward to seeing you and your children in the near future. Hi, I'm Dr. Moak, and this is Mrs. Valente, and we are the teachers um, for Pre-K B. That means that the kids are four, some of our class are five years old already. We have an exciting adventure here. Every day is different, and we're just going to give you the rough outline of what a day might be like. We always start with our calendar. We do the days of the week and we also focus on special holidays like New Year's and Martin Luther King Day. We also have chores. Everyone has a chore in this room um, like door holder or line leader. We're trying to teach them a sense of responsibility. Every day that we're together we have a book that we read. Today we we read Tacky. And this was a fun book because they listened to it on YouTube. Now, after we're finished with story time, we will go to our table and we will do handwriting of some kind. Uh, every week we focus on a single letter. This week is F. So for, uh, for our math centers, oftentimes we will be counting. So we may take out 10 penguins, have them count them, or hand them just a random number of penguins or whatever uh, goes along with our theme that we're working on and have them count them. Or say we had five penguins were at a party but three left to go home, how many do we have? For science, uh, we will do some experiments. We had some erupting snowballs and um, in February, we'll be talking about our body and we'll be developing healthy habits and talking about how eating right and exercising are all important to keep your body in shape. We also do an activity together. Sometimes it's a book of sequencing, sometimes it's worksheets, and then there's teacher time. And the teacher time is when I work specifically with certain students or a student who needs help in a specific area. After that, we go to centers, and centers are absolutely enjoyable. Our centers are, um, like right now, we're in the polar and the ice and snow themes, so we have snowmen for them. They have to write in the missing letter. And then we have, of course, um, our big centers, which are the igloo and there's snow that they can play with. We also have a library center where they can go and sit and read. And the books that we have are all themed along with our various themes that we go by. At the end of the day, um, we collect all of our things, and sometimes if we have the time, we'll talk about high, highs and lows, what their favorite part of the day was, um, what they didn't like about the day, and there's never a right or wrong answer on that. Um, we, we do have an open door policy where if you have questions, you can feel free to come and ask us at any time. You can email us. At the end of each day, after the kids have gone, I will send an email home to the parents and tell them exactly what they did during the day and send pictures. We're always taking pictures. So 
that is a typical day here at his kids in pre-K B. Thank you very much. Welcome to Transitional Kindergarten. I'm Mrs. C. And I'm Mrs. McGrath. We are here to help you and your child prepare for their entrance into kindergarten. We are a center-based classroom. We start each morning with a greeting and then circle time. Circle time consists of the calendar, days of the week, the weather, and the pledge. When we're done our circle time, we enter center time. Every morning, the centers are explained to the students and expectations are set. The kids rotate through their centers. We have centers like dramatic play, science, math, STEM activities, library, computer or technology, art, Play-Doh, and each child will work with a teacher every day on academic and school skills. After centers, we move into a possible story time or a flex time, meeting whatever needs we feel the children have that day. Then we have our bathroom break, our hand washing, and snack. Following snack, we have our outdoor or active playtime. Um, during the school year, we also change a lot of our centers. We uh, pick up different themes depending on the time of the year and the season. Um, so the children have new activities every one to two weeks in the classroom. We look forward to meeting you. I would like to thank you for visiting our school today. I hope you have enjoyed seeing our unique program. If you would like to enroll your child in our school, or if you have any further questions, please feel free to contact me. I would be happy to speak with you. Have a wonderful and blessed day.